Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So today I wanted to do a quick mod on the Spyderco Yojimbo 2. So originally I swapped out the carbon fiber scales to the Flytanium brass scales, which I got a few months ago. Uh, I'll leave a link up to that video if you guys haven't seen it already. But I just wanted something different and something unique on the Yojimbo. So knowing that brass is very heavy, uh, I didn't mind it since I do like a heavier knife. Uh, I had them put on here and I really, really liked it. I just knew I wanted some sort of texture on the brass flitanium scales. So that's what I'm going to be doing today is just putting a kind of a half rock pattern texture. I've done it on a few knives in the past and I just like that look where you have that rock pattern texture in the front of the knife and it just slowly fades away into the back. And the reason why I like that is basically you need grip more grip in the front of the knife so it doesn't slip out of your hand and not that this is an issue it has a nice tumbled finish that I really really like and I just like I said want a just a more aggressive texture on the front so I'm gonna keep the back section a little bit smoother and I want the that stone wash finish more exposed but like I said it's gonna be a quick mod so it's not gonna be too too much going on in the shop so let's go down there and make it happen. All right, so now that we're down here in the shop, what I want to do before I even start uh, putting the rock pattern texture on the scale is I'm going to take the pocket clip and I'm just going to mark really quick where the part of the pocket clip touches the scale just so I don't dig into it or create texture where the most important part is of a pocket clip is where there is I guess a surface touching so that way it locks into your pocket so I'm just gonna mark that really quick that way I have a guide and I don't go past it so right about here and there so again this is just to keep me from removing too much material in this section so that way I don't get rid of that nice little tension spot. Alright so the scale that I'm going to start off with with a rock pattern texture is going to be the one with the liner lock insert or cutout since it does go deeper on this side of the scale and what I have to do is avoid going too deep as you guys can see it's very thin right here so I have to avoid going too deep with the rock pattern texture because if I do well then I'm going to get a nasty hole that's going to go through it and it's not going to look good so I have to be careful when I'm going over this little section here with the rock pattern texture. So I'm going to be using the 240 grit drum pads for the Dremel. Uh, I like it I like it at 240, either 240 or 320. That way it gives it a, a nice grain in the rock pattern texture. I think it just gives it a really cool look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up top with the Dremel and just kind of get my not too deep uh, grooves for the rock pattern texture and just kind of randomly pick spots. I'll kind of go through it while uh, as I'm going. All right, so I have almost the front of the scale finished, as you guys can see there. I want to keep that finger groove or bevel there, so I don't want to take it away. So I'm going to try to just leave that alone as much as I can. But as you guys can see there, I started at the top and now I'm starting at the bottom so I got a little carried away personally I have quite a bit of fun when I'm doing this so again tried not to go ahead of myself but I wanted to show you guys kind of the progress and how this goes and now I'm just meeting up from the bottom up to these other sections and again just using these points as guides so I'll take the Dremel and just meet up next to this one and then once I have this section done, I'll, I'll talk about the edges and how I like to finish off the edges before I move on. Alright, so here it is with the edges finalized, or I'm happy with. So I broke up those, those long lines with these little, these little sharp angled beveled edges. And that way it just breaks everything up and I think it just makes it look a lot better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to taper off on the top section towards the back and same on the bottom but I'm going to go less than the top so it'll just kind of have a nice nice little fade away towards the back end. All 
All right, so here it is all finished. I'm happy with how this turned out, or this side. Uh, I could I could go a little bit more, but I don't want to overdo it, but there's pretty much the show side scale. Now I'm going to do the pocket clip side scale. And if you remember earlier, I did mark where the pocket clip touches. So I'm going to finish this scale, and then we will go back up into the studio and talk a little bit more about it. All right, so we're back upstairs in the studio and we are finished. So I'm really, really happy how these things turned out. And yeah, the light just, I don't know, I just, I love this pattern because of what the light does and just looks really, really good. So one thing I did do, I actually did mess up on the, I guess where the thumb, the thumb ramp or the thumb bevel is. I did slip on one of them. So since I slipped, as you can see right there, this one here, just decided to go with it, gave it a nice rock pattern texture, and then I matched it on the other one just so it's just so it looks similar and matches it. I don't think it ruined it, but it's not what I was going for, but I was able to get around it. And it's true, sometimes I mess up and you try to make the best of it. It's uh it's all you really can do with certain situations. But anyways really happy that I didn't cut through on this thinner edge because that would have really sucked but uh, we are in good shape and I already disassembled the the knife itself from the carbon fiber ones so what I'm gonna do is put it together and we're gonna see what it looks like Alright, so here it is all put together. I think it turned out really, really good. And that purple hardware really, really goes good with that, that brass or golden look. Here's the other side. And I left just enough room where the pocket clip touches for, the, for that tension in the pocket. So everything is good there. It's not perfectly centered, but all I have to do is uh, mess with it and we will be good to go. But... There it is. It's a small little subtle change. At least I think it is, but it makes a big difference. And again, just gives it a unique look. And again, just dances in the light. Let me know what you guys think down below, how this thing turned out. And I do have some titanium scales coming in the mail. So can't wait for those to come in because I'm going to kind of do something similar and then anodize it. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for the support. And I will see you guys on the next one.